How you doing guys? This is Steve from Kings County. And this is Rob from Kings County. Great to have you along guys. Just want to give you guys a look into the uh, behind the scenes situation that we had with our latest video, Wish. Wish there was something real, wish there was something true. Epic, epic endeavor to say the least. Absolutely. Um, originally, we were supposed to film it in uh, Missouri at uh, Missouri State Penitentiary, but because of a lot of logistics, with uh, we we wanted fire, and when you're dealing with fire, a lot of people are like, no way. So unfortunately, they at uh, Missouri State Penitentiary wouldn't go for it. So we had to go to Plan B and try to find another prison. And uh, we came across uh, the prison in Moundsville. It was the uh, West Virginia Penitentiary. And you got to remember too, folks. You know, when you're when you're dealing with fire, um, first of all, not everybody has the capability to do that, and you also have to get a fire department there, right? Yeah. In case anything goes awry. And those guys were like super cool. They were great. the uh, fire department. They came out. They watched awesome. everything, and they were like very helpful. Uh, we made sure we didn't burn the uh, prison down. And it was such a professional atmosphere. I yeah. agree. Everybody was very much on their game and everybody had a common goal, which is to come up with a great video. So I know a lot of people ask this, why we picked the uh, song Wish, which is basically a uh, Nine Inch Nails song. I was like, I think that'd be a great idea as far as a uh, cover remake. And we had gone to uh, our producer, Chuck Alcazian, and he was like, that's great. So we got the recording done, and then we're like, we need a badass video. And that brought us right to uh, West Virginia, Ben. In a crazy place, guys. This place, uh, I want to say, was completed in 1867, which was uh, Civil War time or right thereafter. So you can only imagine what kind of atmosphere this place opened up to. And our director, John, he had done our uh, previous two videos. So he was definitely the man for the job. And that brought us to uh, Moundsville, West Virginia. What an experience. You know, the best way I can describe it is that it had a, a certain weight to it around oh, yeah. this place. It, it was, was a darkness. It was. A um, lot of negative energy going on. And we kind of knew it because it was haunted. Um, you know, we've seen videos of it and people, their experiences. And until you experience it for yourself, it's like, wow, pretty crazy. Hey, but I'm just hanging out here, all right? I'm not inside or anything, you need to worry. All right? Yeah, so you had like a little sink, a little toilet, and I guess the, uh, I don't know, that was the living conditions, if you will, for a lot of these inmates, and you can imagine that it probably wasn't the best atmosphere. No, oh, and they were the worst of the worst. They were murderers and rapists, and uh, not only did they end up in jail for killing people, they killed other inmates. Um, it was really a brutal place. doing these videos it's it's like you have this kind of backstage pass to some of these places yeah because we had free reign yeah. of the entire building I mean yeah. when they were filming other things that we weren't doing you know we could go explore yeah. um, walk around videotape things yeah and I mean even in broad daylight we were having voices showing up on video And we had a lot of experiences. Um, my son had his EMF reader, and that thing was blowing up. It was. I mean, there basically there was nothing there to make it go off. And you, you know, you say a trigger word, and it thing went nuts. Hello. What's that supposed to mean? D C L X V I. You may stand for something. Uh, a great atmosphere for our video. Yeah. Crew was amazing. 
these guys, I mean, it was a lot of moving parts, and these yeah. guys definitely stepped up to it. And uh, we had great talent. Absolutely. Uh, our lead girl was amazing, Emily. She did a great and, job. Yeah, she was great. I mean, this part where we have a flamethrower, can you imagine? Going in and being like, oh, by the way, you're going to use this flamethrower. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't happen every day. Young contortionists that were fantastic. We hired a, a pool of local actors to be inmates. You know, they were, yeah, they were great. Guys. Super, super cool. And, uh, you know, like Rob was saying before about the fire department, those people, was such a professional kind of atmosphere going on. And everybody was just doing a great job. And it was a great... It was a great place to be to do something pretty extraordinary. Yeah. You know, it really was. It was awesome. You know, coming with a great location came great problems. We had uh, a lot of technical issues, uh, which we weren't, you know, expecting. Uh, some of the, uh, the lens broke on one of the cameras, and we lost the main footage of the band with the fire in the courtyard. And that was kind of like the whole video was kind of centered around. Um, we had to go to plan B, we weren't sure exactly what that was, but we did find another prison in uh, Georgia. It came together really quick. Um, they had uh, permission to film there. We had the fire department. It was great. It was like, go, let's do it, let's get it done. And that's what we did. And you know, it's important to, uh, to say too that it was just the outdoor filming of the band with the fire that was the problem. Right. Everything else uh, was able to be filmed and was preserved, if you will. And uh, another great fire department. I yeah, know those guys are great. Those guys. Sweetest dudes, you know, and uh, it was a team effort. You know, you go into this abandoned building, which, you know, inherently. And there's no power. There's no power. You got to bring generators. You know, you got to wait till it's dark, obviously. So, man, you know the uh, the mood is perfect for for a video like this. Yeah. You know, and even though we were delayed and we thought we lost all the footage, I think in the long run we got better footage because instead of being in front of the gigantic building, we were in the scene as opposed to in front of it. The fire was all around us. We had burned out cars yeah. all around us. It was great. Yeah. So everything worked out. It was beautiful. By the time we were done there in Georgia, I think we were all pretty pretty happy with the fact that we got everything we needed and then some. Yeah. You know, and then, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it's amazing sure. how much footage you have and how much you actually use in the final video. Yeah. I mean, there's tons of it that you never see. Um, but that's good. It's better to have more than less. It was really fun making this one. It was. It's going to be hard to top it. It was an experience. You know, we pulled out all the stops for this one. Oh, yeah. And there's even stuff that we weren't able to do, a couple things. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, you think big and, you know, you do as much as you possibly can. And I think the results speak for themselves. Yeah. I mean, you know, just check out the video. We'd appreciate it. And thank you to John, John Volpine, our yeah, director. Yeah, John Volpine. And Eton is uh, our producer. Eton. Yes. Chuck Alcazian. Oh yeah, I mean it all it starts with the music. It really if you does. don't have great music, the video's not gonna matter. Hopefully you enjoy the eye candy and all the good stuff that we're throwing out at you. We appreciate it. And we'll see you on the flip side. Thanks guys, see you soon.